Okay, folks, so this is when you need a custom laser cut piece um, and you need something laser cut. Um, this is how you do it. So you'd open something called Corel. Um, so just search it in the bottom bar of your computer. Click down there and type in Corel, just like it says up here, C-O-R-E-L, and it should be like a little green logo. When you get there, go ahead and click the plus sign right here, or it might automatically pop open, but here's where the new, create a new document, and you'll name it. Please name it your name. Uh, for example, if your name is, uh, you know, uh, Steve, and then put Swanson, so you're going to put your first name, last name, and maybe even a period number might, might be good, actually. So, you know, let's say period two or three or whatever. I don't even have a period three, but I'll put that there right now anyway and uh, next thing click RGB that's red green blue colors um, and then the width put 32 inches that's how wide the, the laser cutter is and it's 18 inches uh, high as far as the the cutting area I'll show you what I mean push OK and you got this cutting area this is all the cutting area now to be honest with you all the wood sheets I buy to buy efficiently are uh, they're actually 32 by 16 okay so let me move this down a tad bit so just to let you know this is the area you have to cut there is going to be a little area down here that you can't use this is how much wood you have on one sheet of wood uh, I prefer to keep your projects to one sheet but if you had to use two sheets I totally understand um, but that's uh, pretty much it how much space you have to work with so I'm going to push the delete button on my computer on the keyboard, I push delete and that goes away. And when you need to cut something, just draw the shape you need. Um, and notice the corners are very sharp. Uh, if you want them rounded, you can use this. This is like the fillet tool in Onshape or whatever software you're using. So 0 0.25, you can round it up. Or you can just round it a very tiny amount, like 0 0.05. And it has like a little rounded edge there. So it's up to you whether you want it. I think it looks more finished like that. To tell the laser to cut, these two things need to be done this properties window if you can't find that by the way just go to object and then go to properties make sure that's checked and it should be over here to the left and make sure two things one the red is on full so 255 that's full red no green no blue okay so no green no blue all red uh, oops that did not take for some reason there we go I pushed enter there and there we go uh, I had to push enter, but sometimes you don't have to do that. And I'm going to go to hairline. So that's the two things you have to do. You have to make sure that this pen right here, that's the line. So this is the fill. Ignore that. We do not need to fill it with color. For example, you don't need to fill it with a color. No fill. Uh, we're going to keep it hairline. So we're going to click the line, and we're going to say that it's red. Full red, 255, zero green, zero blue. And then we're going to make sure that the thickness of the line is not thick. It has to be the thinnest one, which is called hairline. The laser will know to cut that out, okay? If you leave that, that's going to cut really, really quick. I'm talking like one minute or less. Um, if you wanted to write something in black on it, like to label it, this is my right side. Um, it'll take a few minutes longer, about five, this will add five, six, seven minutes to burn that into your wood. But you can totally do that. For example, you could totally add a picture right here or something like that. Uh, by the way, I'm trying to delete that. Let me click the arrow right here, this arrow, and select it, and then push delete. There we go. So if you wanted to import a picture, you would say file and import, and then go to your downloads folder to find it, you know? So you would just go ahead and find it there. So you want to make sure that the piece you're cutting is the exact size you want. So make sure whatever the size is, it's, this is the width and this is the height. So for example, right now, mine is five inches wide, two inches tall. This is just the position on this area where it is. So you'll see as I move it, that changes right here. So if I say zero, the center of this thing, because the black dot is on the center, is zero. If I go here and I to the upper right corner and I say zero, then the upper right corner will go to the zero on the X. So that's if you need to position stuff exactly. This Most students just care about this. Also, oops, I think I just deleted something. I'm not sure what I did. There we go. Um, 
make sure that you organize stuff to save wood. So don't have, for example, let's see, you need to cut a circle. Don't cut a circle and then this square. And then go, here you go, send this over to uh, the laser people to do. Um, you know, make sure that you organize everything very tightly to save wood. And you can fit more, okay? Uh, by the way, circles right here, if you want a perfect circle, make sure these two numbers match. For example, 3 and 3. If one number is bigger, it starts to become oval. For example, 6. See that? That's an oval. Uh, the laser cutter will not cut this out. It will not at all. It has to make sure that this is red and that this has to be hairline. Remember that? Same thing here. I got to go red and the thickness of the line needs to be hairline. There. These will all get cut out. And so organize your stuff. One other thing I would like to teach you here is that this little lock button right here, um, I can change these to whatever I want. But if it's locked, and let's say, oh man, this is a six by three. No, I want it three by three. I need a perfect circle. So you go ahead and change this one to three. See the six, I'm gonna change it to a three. What, it just stayed. Now this one changed, this one changed to 1.5. Uh, okay, let me change this to three. What? This changed back to six. Man, I want that to be a three. I want both to be a three, and I keep going back and forth, and this is really annoying. It's because the ratio is locked. See, lock ratio? So unlock it, and then go, there we go. Now I can change those to whatever I want. There we go. I got a perfect three by three. And you can put shapes instead of other shapes. Just realize that you're going to end up with this piece of wood right here. A circle is going to fall out. You could have the circle, too. And you could have this thing here, and that's all you're going to end up with. Here you're going to have a rectangle. You could rotate this stuff as well to fit it on better. So just type in right here. There's this angle right here. Just type in 90. That'll rotate it to fit it in more tighter. The next part I want to show you is a website if you need a box. So if you need a box, you're going to go to a website. And just type in laser cut box maker. I don't know, something like that. Here's Maker Case. There's other websites. And what kind of box do you want? I just need a basic box, let's say, for this project. This is the, the width, height, and depth of this box. So you can change this up. So I can say 2. See, it's changing the size. Let's change this to 4. What if I don't need the height very high? So let's say it's only 2 inches high. See, so now it's shorter. So I changed the height. It's only two inches. Okay, there we go. I'm zooming in and out here by scrolling the mouse. So I'm going to cover this stuff. Are you working in millimeters or inches? Inches. Okay, here we go. There's the numbers. What are those numbers? Is that the outside of the box or the inside of the box? Right here. It depends. So do you need these numbers to be the outside of your box or do you need them to be the inside of the box? If you don't really care, I guess it doesn't really matter. But these are the numbers of the inside or the outside, depending what you click here. This is the material thickness. How thick is that wood? Measure with a dial caliper. You have the wood, go measure dial caliper, choose one of these. If it seems like it's a little off from these, then just click custom thickness and say, man, this wood, the wood I have is exactly 0 0.240, 0, you know, and put OK. So you can just click custom thickness, put in the exact thickness of wood. It's important. By the way, do you don't need this lid on top? Then put it's open. See right here, it's closed. It's a closed box. Click open. There we go. It's an open box. Now notice the sides, the edge joints. They're just flat. See, it says flat. So just choose um, flat if you like that design. Or click finger, and it'll add fingers in here. And you can change the size of the fingers to be smaller, and it'll add more of them if you want. Uh, so uh, go ahead and change the finger size and it adds these little fingers to interlock your wood. Don't use T-slots. That looks so complex and I don't even know what that is. So just choose finger, okay? That seems to work really good. Now, once you're done, click download box plans and click download SVG right here. And go to uh, save it somewhere. So I'm going to save mine on the desktop. And then I'm going to click back here. And I have those plans. So I'm going to go File and Import, just like it was a picture. Import. I'm going to go to the SVG right here. And I'm going to click somewhere. There we go. I clicked. All right. Now, don't forget to go over here and click 
that it's red, which it seems to already be red. Actually, this is everything. So I'm going to click here and say hairline. There we go. And it seems to already be red. Now, if you don't want the words back, right, left, front, bottom on here, uh, and you want to take them off, and or, or let's say you want to move these guys around, like I want to move this one away from the rest so I can organize this a little bit more, right click here and say ungroup all. So just right click on it and say ungroup all. And then if you can't click on it, you see the locks everywhere, just go to the objects tab. If you can't find this, go to object and click objects tab right here. Then you see them all locked. Go ahead and highlight them all. Click one and then hold the, sh the shift button and click the last one. So click the first one. On your keyboard, click shift like you're going to make a capital letter, the shift button, then click the last one. That'll highlight all of them. Then right click with your mouse on the right side and click unlock. That one that says, are you sure? Put, don't show me this again, put OK. So now I clicked away and I can click any single thing and move what I want. I can delete out the words if I want, push delete, click this, delete, delete, delete. Oops, I deleted the, I meant to delete the word. There we go, delete. Oh, that's not the word. There we go. And now I can uh, organize this, maybe try to squeeze in and organize this a little bit more to not waste so much wood. You know what I mean? So you can organize it the way you want to. And you can conserve more of your wood. That's what you want to do. Because remember, I have all this area to work with. I have all that wood to play with. All right? So that's it. Pretty much from here, once you're ready, you can highlight, just double check, highlight everything, go to properties. And go to the arrow and just go is it red and hairline it seems to be okay we're all good just go to file save as and it should already have you should already be saved right here um, so um, Stevens wants in period 3 it's a CDR file and just click save wherever you're saving it once you save it then you can email that file to the people on the laser cutter and they'll cut it out for you um, if you're worried that it's, someone's going to take your wood or something like that, you can always click this text box and before you send it to them, uh, type in your name on all the pieces and then right click here and say, well, it's not working, the copy didn't work, so I'm going to click this arrow, click here, right click and say copy, paste. When you copy and paste everything in this program, it always puts it right on top of the last spot, so go ahead and move it. So put paste, and you'll see it's going to go, oops, I have to do it over here, paste. It's going to go right back here because it's the same one. So go ahead and put it on all your parts if you want to do that. If you want to. But it's going to put, it's going to burn it in your name everywhere, you know what I mean? So I don't know if you want that, it may not look nice. I mean, if they're doing it in class, all you have to do is pick them all up, wrap them together with some tape, and put your name on the tape. But that's it, folks. Hopefully, uh, you learn how to make a box. You learn how to make some shapes. So you don't have to use a saw if you don't want to. Uh, this will laser cut it out. But this only works up to about a quarter inch of wood. If you have a thicker piece of wood that's more than 0.25 inches, uh, that laser cutter is not going to cut it. Okay? So that's it, folks. Sorry for the long video.